Okay, so um, I'm going to try and show you how to draw a map using Google Maps and plot a cycle course for uh, maybe one of the BTS Saturday bike rides. So we start off um, with on the start screen. I use Google Chrome, but you can use Internet Explorer or Firefox or uh, Safari if you want. Let's just make this full screen. So you go full screen. Um, if you haven't got Google Maps already installed on your PC, just go um, type in there. You just type Google Maps into the um, search bar, hit return, and it will find um, Google Maps, which is the program you were going to use to um, draw a map. So hit Google Maps there, and Maps comes up, and there's a nice picture of Europe in there. Um, I don't know if you've got a Google account or not. I can go to My Places where you save all your default um, maps. Well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go and use Get Directions. So click on Get Directions, and it asks you where you want to go from and where you want to go to. You can go by car. You can choose public transport, or you can choose walking. Walking's quite good if you have a road that we're going to cycle down that. Um, you can't drive down, i.e. the bridge over Eton is quite good on there. But you have to be a bit careful with walking because sometimes it takes you down footpaths and bridleways, which is not too good when you're on the um, BTS ride. So I always start off with, sorry, typing in Wally Avenue. Wally Avenue. Idiot. Barry Avenue. <sighs> Wally Avenue is where I did a job once. Barry Avenue. And say we wanted to go to um, Hollyport. Type in Hollyport, Hollyport UK gives you a drop down list and hit the get directions button. That will zoom you into um, the area where we're going to go. So it's actually, see, you can see down here on the right hand side of the screen, it's um, Barry Avenue down by, it's actually not enough start of the ride, so I might just move that in a minute. And it's actually plotted a, a course for us now along the um, Maidenhead Windsor Road and up into Hollyport. So uh, that's great. But how do we move that map and where do we want to go? So what you can see is as I get on to where the blue line is, it gives me an option to drag to change the route. So if I click with my left mouse button, and then you'll see it's grabbed that route, and maybe we want to go through Oakley Green. So I drop the map on Oakley Green, and so, and so what that's telling is, tells maps this is a point that I want to go through, and you can see what it's done, it's changed the route to go through Oakley Green like that, which is quite good. But actually, I don't want to do that, so I do want to go down the Maidenhead uh, Windsor Road. So just click that point there, drop it back onto this road, onto the Maidenhead Windsor Road, and it and it gets me in there. Now, what I want to try is this is great because it's given me a route here, but I want to do a circular route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to t drag a point and drop it down at the end of, um, on Forest Green Road. And, and what this is trying to do, so the map's sort of trying to loop me all the way around there, but I'm going to correct that in a minute. Because all what I'm going to do now, so I've, I've told it I want to go down the Maidenhead Road, Windsor, into Hollyport, but actually it's thinking I'm going to finish at uh, Hollyport. But I'm going to drag that bit, so you can drag the finish point as well as the start point, and I'm going to drag it back. And see, as I drag it back, it's actually choosing routes for me to go all the way, and I want to drag it back and go back to the start. So um, this is actually me leaving out, um, takes you back down here, missing out Deadworth Road, it takes you back around there. So I'm going to say, oh no, wait a minute, I want to go out to the Drift Road. So I'm going to take it off of the Oakley Green Road on the way back out, drop it on the Drift Road, and it shows me there, and I just pick that up and um, move the map around. So it takes me out of Drift Road, uh, back down through the Winkfield Road, and back in there. So you can zoom in and out using the plus and minus buttons over here, or you can use your scroll wheel. Um, if you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in using the scroll wheel. See what I've done there, um, just scrolling it forwards. Uh, and, it, and it goes in quite low level, uh, high, and I can screw back, screw, um, zoom back out again. You can zoom out if you can zoom out if you such a thing. So, there's the route we want to do. It, Maps has also got um, a really useful thing. See this little man up here on the left hand side. If you've got a road you're going to go down, but actually you're not sure whether it's a road or whether you've got access or not, if you pick him, click, and drag him onto the map. It starts highlighting roads where this, where they, where they've got um, been down and done this um, Google Street route. So actually, I want to let's have a look. Um, so I want to go to the start of the road thing. There's Browns down there. You can start showing you where you are. Um, and I want to have a look. I want to have a look on a drift. No, I don't want to look on a drift road. Where do I want to look? I'm going to look in at, at, at see if I can see Browns back there. So let go of the man, man. 
he zooms in and what you're about to see is it's going to load in a photograph of that, that area you can see what it's doing now it does this automatically my PC is a bit slow because there's quite a lot of stuff running on it at the moment but you can see it's taken us down to to the river and you can scroll around this by clicking on the, on the photograph and moving it so you can have a look look at the route and um, there's the uh, road down through the Windsor by the river there you can look in there and uh, we can scroll around and look at, um, at Browns it's Browns Bar another way of doing it is this this um, compass up here you can rotate that rounds backwards and forwards and see as you move that round I've clicked and held on it and it's rotating this back round so that can let go and it takes you there so you can see uh, areas where you might not be able to cycle and if you want to get out of this thing just hit the minus button you can see zoom out of street view click that button and it takes you back into the map view which is good it takes back in we zoomed in a bit so let's zoom back out here so you can see the start and finish points that we've got there in Barry Avenue. Um, the start point is the A, so if I, actually you can just take that there and drag it back to, to the CAF where we always start and um, take this one back back here. Now, if I want to go over to um, Eton, if I took this and dragged it over there, you'll see it won't take me over Eton Bridge because it knows that you can't drive over Eton Bridge but actually I, I, I know I can cycle over there so if I pick the walk walking route you can see what it's done it's actually rewrote us over to Eton Bridge so we're going to finish over there and I can pick out and do lots of really weird things with that so um, you've got that there there's also this one up here you can have a look at the satellite view if you're a bit, you want to see what sort of the fields are like or whether it's a built up place click on satellite view and it takes you out so you can see our normal routes were one of the ones we do this is quite a simple one that I've just sort of put, put in there where you click on it again and it takes you back to map view so that's a great thing that's a great thing now what I usually do is um, click on this go uh, to my places or you can scroll down here what it says is here it's saying this is a 12.6 mile route and it thinks we're walking so it's going to take us 4.8 4 hours and 8 minutes see if I click it back onto the uh, on this zoomed out view click it back onto the road you can see what it does so now as I'm not going to drive and actually what it's doing instead of it's taking us up around the relief road and back in and brings you back in there so um, I'll just, just drop that back over the other side of the river so we're, we're going to get back to where we started hopefully hopefully that's the aim of most of the um, Saturday rides to get back to where we started from so we've got that there you can do one or two things now you can zoom it to an appropriate level and you can hit the print screen button which will give you a, a screen grab so there's a print screen key on your keyboard hit that and then you can load that into a screen manipulator um, what I tend to do this is a step further if you want to get this route now into your um, Garmin or GPS version I'll load up another video that shows you where uh, to do that so let's just pause this one now and um, I'll load this up and I'll go down there, come on, uh, stop.